Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you a comparison between Google Bard, ChatGPT, and GPT-4. Let me show you a few prompts. First, let's assume that I would like to, for example, look for sushi places that are within 10 minutes drive from, let's say, the CN Tower as an example. So here I have the prompt. So I'm going to say, how many sushi places are there in a 10 minute drive from the CN Tower? Let's see what Google Bar is going to come up with. So as I mentioned, Google Bar is actually quite fast and it just comes up with answers pretty fast, actually. So you can see there are 20 sushi places within a 10 minute drive from CN Tower. These are the most popular sushi places. So here it's going to show you a few ones. I actually can recognize some of those. Looks pretty, pretty accurate. And those sushi places offer a variety of sushi rolls, sashimi, and so on. And would you like to know more about these sushi places? And OK, that's actually a pretty good answer. Let's go ahead and test out ChatGPT. So if you recall, this is GPT 3.5, and that's the default model basically powering ChatGPT, which is, uh, has been released by OpenAI, of course. So if I'm going to go ahead and ask the same question, Please note that this is quite important that basically ChatGPT or the GPT 3.5 model has only been trained by, with data up until 2021. So it doesn't have like real time information. And here is going to tell you as an AI language model, I don't have access to real time information about the exact number of sushi places within a 10 minute drive from the CN Tower. However, I can suggest a few ways to estimate the information. It's giving you kind of suggestions to basically look for information. So I would say for now, Google Bot is actually pretty powerful. Let's go ahead and I wanted to show you an additional one, which is basically Bing Search. Please note that Microsoft invested $10 billion in OpenAI. And right now it's kind of going crazy basically over the AI revolution. And it's competing directly with Google. So Google search has been the go-to search for pretty much the last 10 years or so. But right now, what's happening is Microsoft, after its amazing investment in OpenAI back in 2019, and with the new investment as well happening in 2023, what's happening is kind of, you know, like a, a massive race to dominate search. So here we have Bing AI. If you just go and look up Bing AI search, Basically, you will be directed to Bing search. And of course, you need to just log in with your, with your username. And it pretty much works in the same way as Bard or uh, ChatGPT. And please note that Bing is using GPT-4 model behind the scenes. So if you go back here, if you recall, I can go ahead. I can say, please go ahead, select GPT-4. So I can do that. Or alternatively, I can just use Bing search. And that is going to, again, leverage GPT-4 behind it as well. There are a lot of features, I would say, when it comes to Bing uh, AI search. First, you can select what kind of conversation style you're looking for. You can either go with creative or maybe balanced or precise. So if I say maybe let's pick balance, for example, and let's go ahead and ask the exact same question. Again, pretty much all of them work the same way. So here I'm asking how many sushi places are available within a 10 minute drive from the CN Tower? Let's go ahead and test it out. And here we go, it's looking, searching for basically the uh, prompt. And it's gonna tell you, well, I'm sorry, but I couldn't find any information on sushi places within a 10 minute drive from the CN Tower. However, these are many like locations as well. So it's kind of giving you a quick map and it's giving you just one sample that's kind of, you know, like not even in Toronto. So I would say, if you go back here, you will find that actually Google Bard was actually kind of one of the best out of all of those. So I would say Google Bard wins with this one. Let's go ahead and try out another um, prompt. Let's assume that I would like to ask, give me five best ideas and business models for a startup in artificial intelligence. So here I actually wrote best twice, but I'm assuming both of them should be smart enough to, do, to uh, know. So here I'm gonna say, well, sure, here are five best ideas and business models for a startup in AI. AI powered chatbot, so it's going to tell you, well, an AI chatbot are becoming increasingly popular so they can provide customer service 24-7 and be customized to meet the needs of specific business. AI-powered marketing tools, AI-powered data analysis, okay, sure, AI-powered healthcare tools, AI-powered security tools. You can also see here some additional tips, which is I like in general. 
you will notice that Bard basically kind of give you a summary at the end, pretty much uh, when you ask it any prompt. And this is have kind of baked within the training set. And it's gonna tell you, identify a problem that AI can solve, build a team with the right skills, find a mentor or advisor. It's kind of you giving you general advice. And of course you can go ahead, click on Google it, and it's gonna tell you as well, few links that are related to your prompt. Okay, let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT is gonna tell you. So this actually happens quite, um, quite a few times, even though I've upgraded to uh, Chat Plus, so I hope OpenAI will fix it at some point. So here we go. So this is uh, the Chat GPT. It's gonna tell you, well, AI-powered healthcare. So I should go back. You will see AI-powered AI healthcare has been recommended as well by Google Bart here. Of course, the order is different, but here develop an AI-based healthcare platform that can diagnose, monitor, and recommend treatments for patients. I would say I like the description here a little bit more for with ChatGPT. The ideas are smart home automation, there is autonomous vehicles, there is fraud detection and prevention. You will find that base ChatGPT does not give you kind of the summary at the end, but it gives you the five ideas. So I would say this is a tie, I would say, between them. Let's go ahead and see what Bing search or GPT-4 model is actually telling you. I'm gonna say, give me five it's actually best ideas and business models for a startup in AI. Let's go ahead and test it out. And it might take a few seconds for it to execute. And here we go. So of course you will see that GPT-4 model is actually quite slower compared to the uh, Bard, uh, Google Bard. But here we go, it's gonna tell you whether there are many AI-based startup ideas that can thrive, such as AI-based healthcare, energy-related startup, AI-based marketing startup. And what I really like as well here about Bing Search is gonna actually give you links as well. It's kind of giving you the actual concise information along with links as well if you would like to learn more. This is a pretty powerful tool, I would say. Here it's gonna tell you, well, AI-based cybersecurity, AI-based customer service, AI-based virtual interior designer, and you can go ahead and click on those and that is gonna direct you to multiple links as well. So I would say, in my opinion, Bing here search, which is powered by GPT-4, might be the best one out of all of them. Okay, let's go ahead and test the math and coding ability of all these different three models. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to ask Bard to do the following. Can you add documentation to the following code? And here I'm defining a Python function that simply sums up two numbers together. Don't worry if you don't uh, fully, I would say, understand the uh, this function here. Basically, all I need to do is I wanted any of these AI models to go here and document the code for me. So here we go, this is a nice documentation, and it's gonna tell you, well, the documentation includes the following information, a brief description of what the function does, their names, and the type of the value the function returns. Okay, so I think this is pretty good, and of course, you can go ahead and copy that code. Let's go ahead and test chat GPT. So I'm gonna say new chat, and hopefully it's gonna work without crashing this time. Here we go. Let's go ahead and test it out again. And let's give it a try, certainly, and here we go. It's actually quite fast, it's gonna tell you, well, def my sum, this is my function, and it's giving you here like a nice documentation for the code. And here's the function call, it's giving you as well a description afterwards. So I really like I would say the um, OpenAI's approach in general when it comes to coding. Let's go ahead and test Bing chat. So here I have Bing and I'm gonna come back, use the exact same command here or prompt. Can you add documentation to the following codes? And here we go, certainly. Here's an example of how you can document the code. It's giving you basically a detailed example here and along with the documentation, and it's telling you, well, in this example, we have added a doc string in my sum, and it's kind of giving you a concise description of what this function or what this function does as well. Okay, so I would say overall, it's pretty, um, I really like the open AI approach in general. So I would say Bing search along with the chat GPT are actually quite powerful. Okay, let's test them out when it comes to writing ability and maybe writing an article, for example, to promote a given business. So let's go ahead and use the same prompt that we used before, write an article to promote my business, which is called AI Simplified. My business offers world-class training on artificial intelligence and machine learning. Let's go ahead and see. So that's Google Bard, here we go. We 
check that out before. So if you recall, kind of giving you um, why, kind of many reasons why you should choose or go by with buying that business and uh, or or buying services from that business, going to give you as well here a few conclusion at the end. Let's go ahead and test ChatGPT with it. So here we go. I tell you, well, certainly. AI and machine learning have become buzzwords in the tech industry. However, not everyone knows what these terms mean, and how they can be applied to the real world. That's why AI Simplify comes in. Okay, that's pretty pretty cool, I would say. It's a little bit longer compared to Bard. Let's go ahead and test the final one, and that is going to be Bing Search, which is, as I mentioned before, it's powered by the power of um, GPT-4 models behind the scene. So let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm asking, write an article to promote my business, which is called AI Simplified, exact same prompt. And of course, you can go ahead and play around with a creative, precise, or balanced instead. Here we go. Sure, here's an article that I came up with for you. AI Simplified, world-class training on artificial intelligence and machine learning. AI and machine learning are two of the most rapidly fields, growing fields in the technology today. With AI Simplified, you can learn how to harness the power of these technologies. AI Simplified offers world-class training on AI and ML. Whether you're looking to, uh, you're, whether you are a business owner or looking to implement AI ML into your operations, okay, pretty cool. At AI Simplified, we believe that everyone should have access to the world-class training on AI ML. That's why we offer our courses at an affordable price. And okay, so I would say I pretty much like all of them. So what if I would like, for example, let's say, to uh, limit this article to let's say 100 words. So let's go ahead and test them out. So basically what you see is when it comes to the general uh, prompts uh, that doesn't require a lot of reasoning, basically the three of them actually are quite comparable, I would say. And of course you can, one of the amazing features about Google Bard is that can, you can go ahead and actually check multiple drafts. So I think this is a cool feature here when it comes to Google Bard. When it comes to Microsoft Bing, I think I really like the idea of the creative versus balance versus precise. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm only limited to 100 words. Let's see what Google Bard is going to come up with. Here we go. This is kind of a simplified version of the exact same, basically, data. Let's go ahead and do that. Again, same problem. Let's go ahead and every time, basically, you have to go and restart it again. And here, OK, so this is basically the previous prompt. And here I'm asking, can you limit it? I'm only limited to 100 words. And then, well, sure, AI Simplified offers world-class training on artificial intelligence machine learning. Our comprehensive program covers a range of topics, actually like chat GPT answer. And let's go ahead and test here Bing search. I'm going to say I'm only limited to 100 words. And here we go. I see. Here is a shorter version of the article. AI Simplified world-class training on artificial intelligence machine learning. And, of course, GPT-4 is actually pretty powerful, of course and kind of give me a nice summary here in 100 words. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the last one, and that is going to be turn basically this into an article, or turn this article, my apologies, into a social media post on Facebook and use SEO-friendly keywords and hashtags. And right now, here we go. This is the body. This is the headline. It's going to tell you these are the hashtags. And it's actually mentioning to you as well, these are the SEO friendly keywords. So I really like this as well when it comes to Google Bard. And here is showing you the post also includes the following hashtags as well. It's kind of explaining basically what the posts look like. This is pretty, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do that here with ChatGPT. So here I'm going to say, turn this article into a social media post. This is simply the post and or the um, uh, basically the post here along with all the hashtags. I would say it's pretty good as well. Let's go ahead and test the Bing. So I'm going to say, turn that article into a social media post and use SEO friendly keywords. Here we go. And it's actually pretty, pretty powerful here as well. And please note that when it comes to the chat GPT, what you notice is kind of mixing here these hashtags inside the actual prompt. So again, it depends on your, I would say, uh, taste or what you're looking for. I would say, again, three of them are pretty comparable when it comes to the generic features. But what I'm going to show you afterwards is when it comes to advanced reasoning capabilities, actually the performance varies quite a bit. So that's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Over the next few lessons, I'm going to compare also the three chatbots with each other using a little bit more advanced prompting.
Be stay tuned. Best of luck. And I will see you in the next lesson.